Well, this is like, you know, th this is the perfect temperature, Chesley, for Freak Nick to come on back, oh. right? <laughs> Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Okay, so the internet is buzzing again after the big announcement that Atlanta's infamous spring break block party would be returning. That's right. I'm talking about Freak Nick, which honestly became synonymous with Atlanta's cultural identity in the 80s and the 90s. According to the city, it is back. Mm. But like Crash said, I don't know about that. Nick Sturdivant has the story in this morning's ATL Culture. After two decades, it's back. You know what I'm saying? We're just doing it. Just like the real players from the Himalayas. Who you with? Who you with? Yeah, baby. Freak Nick will return to Atlanta where it all began. 1983 college students hosted the first Freak Nick at Atlanta University Center and quickly became a nationwide phenomenon. Instead of spending spring break on the beach, the culture flocked to the streets of Atlanta to have a good time. At one point reaching a capacity of 100,000 people. This according to Atlanta Magazine got to have eyes all over. But the strain on police and traffic led to the end of Freak Nick in 1999. Over the years, organizers have tried to bring it back, hitting roadblocks and facing pushback. More recently in 2010, 2011, and 2018. But now it's official that it's returning, according to Live Nation. Organizers are already selling tickets for the upcoming event in June, which promises live performances, vendors, and contests. You're the Freak Nick uh, expert here. I for, one, as a, I, for one, as a traffic guy, welcome it back. I mean, I know there were a, a few incidents and whatnot. I mean, we certainly don't want to, you right? know, there, there were some pretty serious, serious incidents. I mean, but when it first started to uh, just uh, come about, yeah. it was it was fun. It was block parties, you, 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 you Midtown and Buckhead mm -hmm. and, and other places. Mm -hmm. And then things got a little silly because they really did. We had a group of kids, mm -hmm. probably several hundred, stop traffic on I-20 just outside the connector and somebody pulled out a barbecue and they started barbecuing off the interstate, yeah. which I thought was hysterical as uh -huh. long as nobody got hurt and nobody did. Yeah. It was a fun, it, this city was alive. I it really wanna, was. I almost wanted, I mean, of course, you know, I wasn't old enough to experience it and I really wanted to experience it, um, especially when I got older, but of course it got canceled. Yeah. But I would describe it as like this this spring break for all of Atlanta and you could see it all outside. Yeah. I mean, people were dancing everywhere. Mm -hmm, um, yeah. It was this huge celebration mm -hmm. and, and music everywhere. Yeah. In every car you looked at, people were just, hey! Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a cultural Part of thing. Atlanta history. It I was. have seen it in a bunch of documentaries. <laughs> Never got to take part. What about yourself, Jesse? <laughs> oh, I stumbled upon it. Oh, uh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Back in the college days and thought, whoa. <laughs> Get me out of here. No! <laughs> oh, man. I mean, the things I saw, yeah. Yeah. the things I experienced for Freak Nick, <laughs> no. can't even talk about it on TV. Can't no. do it. It'll can't never do be it. the same, I'll say that. No, right. no, it never. won't be like that. It won't be like that. No. Well, you kind of don't want it to be that. <laughs> we'll yeah. see what's to come. Yeah. Whoa. It is 5.51 right now. I'm glad I checked in with you on that. Yeah. Stumbled yeah. upon, Stumbled huh? Stumbled upon that.